life. Tonight we honor a teacher who does not keep the light of technology education under her basket. The article selected for this award is actually a collection of seven articles and news releases that were published last school year in newspapers, on websites, and on television programs, and also in the TEAP Journal. It's a new thing, and we like to bring you new things that are going on, exciting things, positive things in the community, including the schools. And that's why we come to school every Wednesday, and we will be doing it again in the fall, I'm sure. But here in this technology lab at Thurgood Marshall Elementary School, they're using the same technology that they use at engineering schools like Drexel and MIT. Very impressive. Here's our family portrait here. As they say, we're a family. Finally, Lego Mania today on the University of Pennsylvania campus. More than 350 students from 20 Philadelphia public schools put their robotic creations on the line. Working in teams, they spent the past two months designing and assembling their Lego. The articles featured photographs of students from Thurgood Marshall School in Philadelphia engaged in exciting technology education learning activities like futuristic city design, information technology, exploring engineering careers, and robotics. Our award winner knows the value of shining the light of technology education for everyone in the public to see. Something else that makes Philadelphia and the region special is the Future City uh, competition. And the students here at Thurgood Marshall enter it every year. So this is their uh, City of Justice three competition. They're, uh, they're demonstrating pneumatics, hydraulics, wind power here, and also electricity, all the different forms of energy that you can do so many different things with. And we'll look at this in more depth while we look at the forecast this morning. Architects are sharing their visions of the future. 30 teams of Delaware Valley Middle School students showed off their designs for cities of the future. This is part of a regional competition held today at Drexel University. Look at that. The model cities were designed using sophisticated software and built from recycled products. The winning team gets to compete in the national finals later this year in Washington, D.C. KYW3 Philadelphia. This is Eyewitness News at 6. Tonight, the future engineers of America were in Philadelphia today showing off their vision of tomorrow. Teams of 8th graders entered their designs in the local future city competition at Drexel University today. Students design cities to deal with common problems of today's urban areas. We're in the technology lab, Thurgood Marshall Elementary School. Fascinating things going on here, including these kids who are designing cell phones, okay, on the computer. They're working with cell phone technology. This is elementary school, folks. It's amazing. Might as well. This is the only elementary school in the country licensed to use this program. Please join me in congratulating the recipient of the Dr. Nevin Andrea Award for Outstanding Journal Article for 2005, Mr. Michael Johnson. school administration and our local newspaper they're always advertising our school or program it's so exciting for our whole community and 1999 was my first teak conference and I ran into Bill and Bill actually I gave him a journal um, of our local newspaper he published it in the Teak Magazine in 2005 in Missouri. I ran into Ken and gave him some articles, and by my surprise, and I was shocked to see it, he published those in the Teak Magazine. Technology Education Association of Pennsylvania, um, very honored to receive this award, and I will make sure I go back to the city of Philadelphia. Spread the word that technology is alive and will always be one of the outstanding programs in education. Thank you very much. Well, now we come to that technical part of the 
told you a little bit earlier about the video yearbook. You know, we all have our yearbooks from school, and they're books with paper. There's Mr. Johnson, who spearheads the project every year, and there's Thurgood Marshall, for whom the school is named. So th they have this uh, yearbook with the, the principal, and you see pictures of the principal, and then follows them um, from, from back when they were in fifth grade, and then you can see what they look like now in eighth grade. And they're graduating tomorrow. Mom and Dad will be oh. so proud. Oh, I'm sure they will. Sue yeah, has a tear in her eye. Look well, at you know, her. it's bittersweet because you've been in, in the right. same school for, in this case, maybe eight or nine years if you came to kindergarten here. And uh, you're excited about moving on, but it's, it's kind of At the sad. same time, yeah. you still have those memories that you want to hold on to. I cried at my... ...college and help others through their jobs.